SwiftUI gives us extraordinary control over how views are rendered, including the ability to add real-time blurs, blend modes, saturation adjustment, and more. Blend modes allow us to control the way one view is rendered on top of another. The default mode is dot normal, which just draws the pixels from the new view onto whatever is behind. But there are lots of options for controlling color and opacity. As an example, we could draw an image inside a Z stack, then add a red rectangle on top that's drawn with the multiply blend mode. Z stack, image Paul Hudson, rectangle, dot fill, color dot red, dot blend mode, dot multiply, dot frame, width 400, height 500, dot clipped. Multiply is so named because it multiplies each source pixel color with the destination pixel color. In our case, each pixel of the image and each pixel of the rectangle on top. Each pixel has color values for RGBA, red, green, blue, and alpha, ranging from zero, none of that color, through to one, all of that color. So the highest resulting color will be one times one, and the lowest will be zero times zero. Using multiply with a solid color applies a really common tint effect. Blacks stay black because they have the color value of zero, so regardless of what you put on top, multiplying by zero will produce zero. Whereas lighter colors become various shades of the tint. In fact, multiply is so common, there's a shortcut modifier that means we can avoid using a Z stack. Dot color multiply, dot red. There are lots of other blend modes to choose from, and it's worth spending some time experimenting to see how they work. Another popular effect is called screen, which does the opposite of multiply. It inverts the colors, performs a multiply, then inverts them again, resulting in a brighter image rather than a darker image. As an example, we could render three circles at various positions inside a Z stack, then use a slider to control their size and overlap. At state, private var amount, CG float equals 0.0. V stack, Z stack, circle, dot fill color red, dot frame width 200 times amount, dot offset, X minus 50, Y minus 80, dot blend mode, dot screen. Then a second circle, dot fill color dot green, dot frame, width 200 times amount, dot offset, x50, y minus 80, dot blend mode, dot screen. Then a third circle, dot fill, color dot blue, dot frame, width 200 times amount, dot blend mode, dot screen. Then the whole Z stack will have the frame, width 300, height 300. Below that, there'll be a slider with a value of dollar amount, and some padding. Then around our V stack, we'll say there's a frame with max width dot infinity and max height dot infinity to fill the screen. And dot background, color dot black, so we can see the screen effect properly. Then edges ignoring safe area dot all. Now try running that. If you're particularly observant, you might notice that the fully blended color in the center isn't quite white. It's a very pale lilac color. The reason for this is that color.red, color.green, and color.blue aren't fully those colors. You're not seeing pure red when you use color.red. Instead, you're seeing SwiftUI's adaptive colors that are designed to look good in both dark mode and light mode. So they're a custom blend of red, green, and blue rather than pure shades. If you want to see the full effect of blending red, green, and blue, you should use custom colors like these three. Color, red one, green zero, blue zero. Red zero, green one, blue zero. Red zero, green zero, blue one. There are a host of other real-time effects we can apply, and we already looked at blur back in project three. So let's look at just one more before we move on. Saturation, which adjusts how much color is used inside of you. Give us a value between zero, which is no color, just grayscale, and one for full color. We could write some code to demonstrate both blur and saturation in the same view, like this. 
Image, Paul Hudson. Dot for sizable. Dot scale to fit. Dot frame width 200, height 200. Dot saturation, double amount. Dot blur, radius, one minus amount times 20. With that code, having a slider at zero means the image is blurred and colorless. But as you move the slider to the right, it gains color and becomes sharp, all rendered at lightning fast speed.